Ну, такая вот ситуация. Столько мы хороним, какой способ. Coffins being lowered into a mass grave in Chernihiv, a city in northern Ukraine that sustained a month of Russian bombardment. Officials reported that up to 700 people lost their lives. It's still difficult to estimate the true death toll of the war in Ukraine. Investigators and international organizations are turning to satellite imagery and social media videos to see the real scale of civilian deaths by looking closer at grave sites like these that have popped up all over the country. Investigators at the Center for Information Resilience began searching for some of these grave sites in a forest near Chernihiv. We spoke to Ben McCann, who led the investigation. The image that kind of initiated the investigation was published by an outlet called Medusa, which is a Russian language news site. We began searching for an area that was similar to what we could see uh, in that image. In the image, there's uh, a forest, and in the background, there's obviously a large existing uh, grave site, which had been there for some time. So we were able to narrow down our search, and we started using satellite imagery that had been uh, gathered since the start of the conflict. We then went about analyzing social media imagery, so whether that's matching up, you know, trees, headstones, whether it's matching up patterns of roads or roofs in the background from structures outside the cemetery. And as we looked more, we found more images that demonstrated the scale of which civilians had been buried in the cemetery. We were able to identify around 350 individual graves. The researchers were able to use satellite images to determine that these graves were new. The land was cleared after the Russian offensive began in February. But they admit their work doesn't tell the whole story. We know the Russians were extensively bombing Chernihiv. We know that there were civilian casualties as a result of uh, shelling in the city. But it's really challenging to say that because of these graves, we know that all 350 that we reported on were a direct result of the Russian invasion. So the challenging part now becomes matching our investigations up with ultimately the testimony of the people who experienced the, uh, the worst of the violence. NGOs like the Center for Information Resilience hope the online investigative work they're doing now could one day be used in a court of law alongside other information to seek accountability for the victims.